You go first? Do you sad how that played out? Yeah, I think a lot of people are sad. A lot of people will feel sad. But, you know, I think that's a sign more of the fact that people are really passionate about the the game that we're playing and about Haruka's character, especially. Like, the fact that so many people got, like, that upset and impassioned about what happened on Friday, I think is more of a, a good sign than anything, you know? Like, it's just a sign that people were really connected to that character and to the, the story that has just begun. So I think that said, I think we might... We might be okay. <laughs> so, D&D. D&D, man. Where do I start? So, after D&D, my initial reaction was pain. And you know what? That reaction is still valid. I... I went to my Discord, and I said, you know, like, in the channel for D&D, I was like, Man, like, not gonna lie, that was painful. I'm feeling very demoralized. I feel like that was a very, like, hardcore encounter for our second fight ever. And... Initially, yeah, that's how I felt. Now I've had some, like, space to kind of let it sink in, sleep on it, and think about things. And I still think it was pain. Like, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and be like, Yeah, I had a real fun blast the whole time because I think it was plain to see for, like, most of us at least that we were kind of struggling and getting frustrated and getting really, really anxious because we were really anxious and frustrated because we're first-timers. Like, it's our first time playing D&D. It was a very tense situation, a very tense encounter. So yeah, I was... I was <laughs> not having a good time. And I'm not gonna be like, yeah, I had, a, I had a great time, yeah. But that said, that does not mean that my... like impression of D&D as a whole, or like my... my willingness to keep playing has been affected at all. Because... Uh, I, I... of course still really want to play. Like, I want to play so bad. Like, you... you don't even know how painful it's going to be to wait not just like a week, but two weeks for the next session. Because it left off on such a cliffhanger. There's like so many ideas brewing in my head. All the girls are coming up with like this stuff that they want to do for RP stuff. And we're all just like going crazy, buzzing, with, like, anticipation about the next session. I am so excited. Like, so unbelievably excited. And I feel like... Gosh. <sighs> it's like a good kind of frustrated feeling, you know? Um, despite that it was pain, I will say my initial thought was like, maybe that was too, like, too rough for us. Like, maybe that was too much of a difficult encounter. But after sleeping on it, I realized that the encounter itself, like the, the mechanics involved, were actually not that difficult for me personally. Like, we all kind of figured out what to do at a certain point. We all figured out, like, what we needed to do to calm down the monster and how to deal with the rage mechanic. We figured out the, the ice thing. And we eventually figured out, like, dodging and stuff like that. But... Uh... In the moment, like, after we figured it out... Uh, there was just this, like... Deluge of unfortunate incidents <laughs> that occurred... That were pretty much out of anyone's hands. Like, we had really bad rolls. And... And I'm not blaming him for this, because... Like, like I said, it's out of anyone's hands. And it is very gracious of him to have streamed despite not even being like at his own like battle station as he usually is. Arcadum didn't have an ideal setup for that stream, which isn't his fault. I must stress because I don't want anyone to like doo doo on anyone over this because that's not fair to anyone. It's it's a it's D&D. &D. It's a game of D&D. &D. 
So please, like, I know how some people are, like, super impassioned about this. And that's good. It's good to be impassioned because it means you care. But please, um, respect all the players and, uh, especially the, the dungeon master himself. And don't, uh, fling any doo-doo at anyone. <laughs> but, as I was saying, uh, he didn't have his ideal setup for that. Which, um, may have caused some, some misunderstandings and some... Like, for example, there were a few things that he couldn't keep track of because he already has to keep track of so many things. But when he doesn't have his usual setup, uh, it was much harder to keep track of things like the, the armor of Agathis that I had on. Because apparently, um... The, the armor that my character had applied... Sorry, I have like really bad hiccups right now. <laughs> the armor that my character had applied... Uh, was supposed to have... Uh, if I were to be incapacitated... If it was supposed to attack the enemy with frost damage. Because it is like frost armor. And... I think he forgot to take that into account. Which is an honest like... Mistake that like anyone would have made especially since he didn't have his usual setup and if I had known I definitely would have just like written that down myself because he has to keep track of so many things already and aside from that stuff like There were a few things that um, Unfortunately, were not able to be explained to us, but I don't blame anyone for that honestly but I think Overall, uh, the reason that that went the way that it did wasn't really, like, it cannot be chalked down to any, like, person's fault. I think it was just a combination of circumstances that were out of our control. One of which being the roles were bad. Second of which being the setup wasn't ideal. Third of which, we're all new and we were all panicking like crazy. So... It led to being a not good time, but even after I had a not good time, I still enjoyed it, if that makes sense. I still want more. <laughs> I still want to play more. I still want to face more challenges like that, especially now that I kind of like understand a lot more. Because I guess something that happens when you make mistakes or go up against challenges like that, that kind of wreck your shit. Is that you come out the other end feeling more powerful and more ready to face more challenges. <laughs> I... I don't know, I, we got dunked on, but we still won. But the other thing was... Uh, Haruka losing her character was a big part of why I felt the way I did after the, the session ended. Because I think like a lot of us, myself included, felt incredibly guilty for her losing her character because uh <laughs> because we're all new like I like I keep saying but we we all made mistakes that new players make like any new player would have made the mistakes that we made but we all feel like oh gosh maybe if I did this different or I did this and this and this she would have, her character would have survived. So, I felt really guilty about that. And I was really worried that she would be super sad about it. So, like, I guess kind of on her behalf, I felt sadness. I was like, no, I don't, I don't want her to have to lose her character. That's too sad. But then I watched uh, Haruchi's stream when she was talking about uh, what happened on D&D that night. And she just sounded so enthusiastic and positive. And after seeing her talk about it, I felt a lot better. I felt like, okay, <laughs> it's it's not the end of the world. Like she's she's still in it to win it, you know? She's still excited. <laughs> and even though her character might be gone, that doesn't mean that she can't make a new like, also cool character because she has the best ideas. Or maybe something could happen with her... 
with the story in some way that River might be able to make a return appearance somehow, but I don't know. Whatever the outcome is, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> mm. Mm, I wasn't feeling worried about Artika because I care about her or anything. Uh, it's actually because I care about her a lot and I want to kiss her on the mouth. And, and the hooves. And speaking of performing effectively, something was said by like a few people that made me kind of like... Mm. <laughs> it was that they mentioned that my character could have just like sniped the boss and sold it and cheesed it that way. And I was aware of that. I was very aware of that. I definitely could have just been like, okay, everybody, get behind me. Uh, we're just gonna go outside of the cave, back up like 200 feet, and I'm just gonna fire my Eldritch Spears at this thing until it dies. I could have done that, maybe, but that wouldn't be fun for everyone. Or anyone. That wouldn't be a fun way to play. When I play d and I'm not playing it like it's like this single-player game. Where, like, the world is my oyster or whatever, and I can just do whatever my selfish heart desires. I play in a way that I want to synergize with my teammates. It's a teamwork game. There's more than just one player in D&D. It's you, it's your party members, your friends, the DM. You all want to work together in a kind of harmony to pull stuff off together. Because that way is the fun way to play. I don't want to just like go off on my own and do whatever the fuck just to be optimal. We have to get more used to working together as a team and being, you know, being D and D buddies together and learning D and D in general. Which is another thing that I'm excited about is uh, they actually. I don't know how she. <laughs> I think she found this person on Arcadon's Discord, but they were offering to kind of coach us on D&D stuff just in the meantime before the next session. Because there's a lot of stuff that we need to brush up on and learn about, and I kind of feel bad, I don't know, like pestering Arcadon with like every single question that I might have. So, we've been, uh, talking to this person and being coached and I'm actually going to get some help on my character and how to utilize her, her kit to the best of my abilities as soon as I can and I have like about two weeks to do that so I'm gonna, I'm gonna buckle up and shut up and I'm gonna learn thankful to everyone trying to help and like I said, the, the last session was painful for me for a number of reasons, but that doesn't mean that I, I'm... I hate D&D now, and I, I never want to play again. I want to get back on the horse and try again, because it's... I don't know, something about that kind of activates my neurons. Like, when I seemingly fail at something, I just want to try again. And do better. I guess that's how you learn how to do things. <laughs> um, Lucine's wing. Um, I guess I'll have to find out in the next session. <laughs> Her wing is broken. But... I guess I don't wanna, like, spoil whether or not it will stay broken. I don't know if I'm allowed to even say that. Hmm. Yeah, Haruka... Performed... Admirably. Her character's sacrifice will never be forgotten. I loved River so much. We're all like coming up with ideas for the next session. And just thinking about them is making me want to tear up. The girls are gonna fucking kill me! They're, they're coming up with all these depressing scenarios and it's like... Why are you doing this to me? Don't do this to my heart. <laughs> yes, River was amazing. But you know what also was amazing? was, uh, Vey's character, Nia, her finishing move on the Mistwalker. That was just legendary. 
When I talk about wanting to be legendary in D&D, &D, moments like that is what I think of. This is how our character sacrificed some... some like curse levels to finish off the monster and save as many people as she could. I think that was so cool. That was a definite anime moment. I was pogging. And when I said that I wanted to make out with her, that was not a threat, that was a promise. Because that was such a cool move. <laughs> it was so, so cool. And when I think about it, uh, the pain from River's passing <laughs> kind of softens a little. Oh, thank you, Arcade, I'm very thinking those subs. And thank the, you. And the slums. And she's very street smart. Oh, my ears are. <laughs> my ears are wiggly. 